Our next presenter is Peter Chen. Peter is a fourth year PhD student in mechanical engineering. And with his degree, he hopes to see people fill their cars up at algae fuel pumps in his lifetime. His presentation's title is Algae's Green Future, Fuels or Products? Have you ever heard of the ingredient astaxanthin? What about carrageenan or chlorella or spirulina? Even if you've never heard the names of these ingredients, you've probably had them recently in the past week or even this morning. They're found in everyday products like toothpaste and ice cream and health supplements. And that means you very likely had algae in some form. Now, algae aren't just good for those delicious seaweed snacks. Millions of years ago, algae grew aplenty in the seas that covered the surface of our planet. And as they grew, they accumulated tons and tons of oil. When the algae died, they settled to the bottom of the seafloor, got buried, and over millions of years formed into what we now know as petroleum. Now, petroleum oil is a very contentious topic these days because um, while there's a high demand for the gasoline and diesel that are formed from it, they're also a major contributor to greenhouse gas emissions and it's debatable whether we've already hit peak oil, which is to say we might be running out. Um, in the years since acknowledging the need to um, meet the demands for these uh, the transportation fuels like gasoline and diesel, um, there have been great research strides in trying to use algae to capture CO2 back from the atmosphere and um, create a uh, demand for these, or fulfill the demand for um, these transportation fuels in a more sustainable manner. But algae aren't quite ready to hit the gas pumps yet. You don't see any signs at the gas pump saying made with algae like you do with ethanol because ethanol is cheap and easy to make, whereas algae is not. Even at peak performance, algae fuels would come out to be maybe five, six, maybe even $7 per gallon right now. And that would not be competitive with uh, conventional petroleum fuels. But I do see a future where we do fill up our cars with algae. As we understand better how algae grow, we can target and isolate um, the co different components in algae better to try to uh, make better use of all the biomass. If we separate out the oily components that are good for making fuels, there's still plenty of leftover material that might be hiding something valuable like astaxanthin, which I mentioned earlier. Astaxanthin is a valuable pigment found in certain species of algae that might be, um, that are really good for health supplements. And, and the market price for astaxanthin is something like $1,500 per kilogram. And so if we're able to fulfill the demand for uh, these transportation fuels in a sustainable manner and create these valuable products like astaxanthin at the same time, we might be able to see those signs saying made with algae at the gas pump and you might be able to recognize the names of some, some of those algae ingredients.